Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! So bago tayo magsimula sa ating discussion, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-click na din ang notification bell para maging updated sa mga bago kong i-upload na video lessons. Okay, so simulan na natin. I-discuss ko dito ay ang mga most commonly used theorems in geometry, most especially sa mga triangles and angles na topic natin sa grade 8 math, third quarter. Okay, so line point plane theorem. So, given a line and point not on the line, there is exactly one plane containing both the line and the point. So, in our figure, supposing a line contains points J and K and another point L, they are non-collinear points. By plane postulate, any three non-collinear points lie exactly in one plane. Also, by line postulate, any two points determine a line. Therefore, there is exactly one plane containing JK and point L. So, kung napansin ninyo, in order for us to justify the validity of the given statements, we use the undefined terms and several postulates in the proof. This kind of statement is an example of theorem. A theorem or theorem Theorems are statements that has to be proven before being accepted. The proof in the theorem is a sequence of true facts such as undefined and defined terms, axioms or postulates, proof, and even previously proven theorems that are arranged in a logical order. Ito namang mga theorem na to, describe ang relationship between points, line, and plane. So, yun yung mga undefined terms natin. So, we have the line intersection theorem. So, it states that if two lines intersect, their intersection contains only one point. So, diba doon sa ating diniscuss yung mga definition ng terms natin, yung defined terms, ang intersecting lines contains only one intersecting point. Line H and line J intersect at point N. Next, we have the line plane intersection theorem. If a line intersects a plane not containing it, then the intersection contains only one point. So, as you can see in the figure, yung line niya, nag-intersect siya sa plane B at point K. So, isang point lang talaga ang intersecting point. Then, we have the triangle angle sum theorem. So, in every triangle, the sum of the measures of the three interior angles is 180 degrees. So, we have here the figure, triangle DEF. So, we have three angles there, angle D, angle E, and angle F. So, if you are going to add the measure of angle D plus measure of angle E plus measure of angle F, that is equal to 180 degrees. Next, we have the linear pair theorem. So, if two angles form a linear pair, then they are supplementary. So, we have here the figure, if measure of angle FGP and measure of angle PGK are linear pair, based on our definition of terms of linear pair, then measure of angle FGP and measure of angle PGK are supplementary. Next, we have the supplement theorem. If two angles are supplementary to the same angles or to congruent angles, then they are congruent. So, if angle A and angle B are supplementary and angle B and angle C are supplementary, therefore, angle A is congruent to angle C. So, by the transitive property of equality. As you can see, parehong angle B ang kasupplement ng angle A at saka ng angle C. So, ibig sabihin, congruent ang angle A at saka angle C. So, pareho din halos ng complement theorem. Na if two angles are complementary to the same angle or congruent angles, then they are congruent. So, if angle D and angle E are complementary, and angle E and angle F are complementary, yung iisang angle na angle E ang pareho nilang kakomplement. So, ibig sabihin, yung angle D at saka angle F, congruent. 
Okay? Ang pinagkaiba lang ng supplement at saka ng complement, yung kanilang measurement. Ang measurement ng supplement sa 180 degrees nagbe-base. Ang complement sa 90 degrees. And the last one is ang vertical angles theorem. So, if two angles are vertical angles, then they are congruent. So, we have here the figure, two intersecting lines. So, we have angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. So, if angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles formed by intersecting lines T and U, then angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. So, remember, yung angle 1 saka angle 2, linear pair. So, supplementary siya, di ba? Then, yung angle 2 saka angle 3, ganun din, linear pair din at supplementary. So, parang katulad nung kaninang uh, supplement theorem, in this case, pinagtabi lang siya. So, ibig sabihin, vertical angles, angle 1 and 3, are congruent. Ang kailangan natin sa mga theorem ay meron tayong knowledge tungkol sa mga previous lessons like yung mga undefined terms, defined terms, axioms, postulates. Okay? And even yung mga previous terms sa mathematics, kailangan din natin yan para makakontinue tayo sa mga susunod na topic. Kasi kapag wala tayong alam ng mga nakaraan nating topic, hindi tayo makakausad. So, ang payo ko, panoorin nyo din ang mga previous lessons para ma-review kayo at maintindihan nyo ang diniscuss ko. Ilalagay ko sa description box ang mga link ng simula ng mathematical system at meron ding lalabas na suggested topics sa itaas ng video na ito. So, hanggang sa susunod na video, goodbye for now. God bless everyone. Thank you.